Hey guys, we got a lot of space on this side of the park. Go on and file it. A lot of space on that side of the tree, so it's alright. So sorry guys, um, it seems like I may have had some issues. Hey Mary, how long was I down for? Shut it down, shut it down! Shut it down! Okay, so we're only down five minutes. My stream froze. We're having some issues. It is pouring rain. I'm not carrying an umbrella. Um, so the, the, the chat, the social stream freezes. So I was having problems knowing if I was up or not. I'm gonna go ahead and shut, like not shut it down, but put down the, the social stream in the chat for right now so we can use the bandwidth, okay? Tambourine people here in NYC. All right, guys, I'm gonna go ahead and move through the crowd just a bit if I can. Thank you. So the crowd has, thank you. The crowd has effectively uh, shut down Bryant Park. So earlier when we were marching, we marched past here, and I kind of commented on the fact that the police seemed to not want us in here. They had blocked off the entrance. You see what would normally be a skating rink here. It's too cold, or it's too warm. Ronnie, Ronnie. I'm having to get just as aggressive as these mainstream media guys. Hey, sex on From the country, I should say. He's probably been the most hours of any streamer. So, and watch it as well. And if I go down, this is Short stack. Short stack. Stack is short. Stack is short. Also, she's next to me, too. I don't know how that happened. And Lorenzo, and then the camera was right here a minute ago, too. And also, he was behind me. What the hell's going on here? I don't know, because I was like, I don't think they're with me. I think I got broken off. It's a global revolution. Probably hate us right now. Same with the uh, AWNN, if they're mixing us all. <laughs> yeah, we'll, we'll spread out, guys, once the, once we get going. Don't worry. Guys, nice, I was wondering about you. Yeah, I was, too. I was like, I don't know. For I'm soaked to the bone. Oh, oh, thoroughly, I am thoroughly. soaked. Sorry, guys. Didn't mean to be screaming. 
So I managed to run into Z. So that the good news is is that we didn't get separated. Can we take a break? No, no, no. Oh. He, he's been uh, pumping up the energy in the front, so he needs to get some, take some breaths. So we ran into local streamer Stop Motion Solo. Um, I managed to end up standing right next to Z, even though we've been stairs coming up, stairs coming up. split up um, quite a bit. I actually thought that we might have been in different groups, but here he is. That's what I thought too. I thought. Look at his big, his big head. Big head and little teeth. It's just there to uh -huh. show you um, on a side note, I am soaking wet, um, but it's almost impossible to carry an umbrella and stream properly. Uh, the, the wind usually gets it, so uh, thank God it, it's kind of... The other thing that came in handy were my uh, duck boots that I bought for Ferguson being so cold. I haven't had to like... I probably would have been out of the game by now if I had been watching um, her been wearing tennis shoes. So... So we're marching alongside Bryant Park. This is Bryant Park that we were just occupying. So now they're chanting the people united will never be defeated. Um, up ahead of me. One of the things that I'm struck by is that um, people in NYC are incorporating so much of Ferguson into their chants tonight. And so I encourage people in Ferguson, my people, to uh, listen to some of the chants that are here and start incorporating those into your chants. Because one thing that we do have to do is we have to connect all these movements in order to make things effective. but not overshadow when people are collectively grieving and they're taking to the streets for their own individual, um, their, their things and their needs that they have going on. So that's very important. Um, you know, Ferguson was allowed um, to mine, mourn Michael Brown and people from around the country joined in solidarity with them. That's the group I was following petered out to like 50 people. Um, and so now, you know, it's New York's turn. Slow down! Slow down! Slow down! People are calling for slow down. Slow down. people slow to slow. Down. They're also asking for people to honk. Crowds definitely starting to come together. It's getting louder again. Starting together. Hang on. Grow steam. Who's streets? 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 Who's stre
streets? Our streets. Who streets? Our streets. Who streets? Our streets. Crowd's definitely starting to move faster now. The march that I, the uh, pace that I had heard that New Yorkers and <laughs> their marches move at, we're starting to move faster. No peace, no race and police. No justice, no peace. No race and police. No peace. No peace. The cabbies, um, you know, which is, the cabbies in St. Louis literally um, have, I've seen them, like, some of them have literally, uh, they become annoyed. Let's just put it that way, they become annoyed. And so do the passengers, and the passengers will call out demonstrators in Ferguson and, and St. Louis. And here, I've seen a lot of cabbie solidarity with marchers, so... Quickly. So if anybody's watching me, I would like to have this section highlighted. This is for Molly Crab Apple. This is a this is a taxi. That's the bead center. That's a delivery truck. That's a building. All right, that's it. I just wanted to uh, do a little bit of that for Molly Crab Apple. A little bit of an inside joke. If anybody can make a highlight of that, that'd be great. Appreciate it. Oh, by the way, there's people with umbrellas in front of us. Umbrellas. <laughs> All right, guys, I'm having a little bit of fun.
We started off on the sidewalk. If you're just joining us, this is Short Stack Broadcasting from NYC. Ferguson to NYC Solidarity. We're just here amplifying uh, and trying to unite the two causes and all the causes around the country. Um, so, okay. So, here we are. I'm broadcasting from NYC. When we started the march, we started on the sidewalk. We went into the Apple Store on Fifth Avenue, occupied that for a short time, did a die in there, continued to march, march to Macy's, um, march out of Mar Macy's into Times Square. And uh, well, when we exited the Macy's, we um, went from the sidewalk to the street, which was interesting because the entire time we had been on the sidewalk. So demonstrators are now in the street after leaving the Macy's a while back. Then we went to Times Square, occupied that for a minute, and now we're marching again. Probably got some downtime. Um, if you would take some time to follow my stream, that's on Ustream, Stack, S T A C K I Z, Short, S H O R T. And on Twitter, it's the same at name, S T A C K I Z, Short. I'll be here until Monday covering the um, NYC marches after the grand jury decision of a no bill for the homicide of Eric Gardner. Gardner. I keep wanting to add a D on there. I know it doesn't exist, but. Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! Don't shoot! It is raining. It is a rainy night here. I don't know what time it is in NYC, but we have been marching since about 5:30. marching for four hours. Our street. Our about four hours, kind of. Um, so Our apparently streets. we're going to go down Our six streets. as Our far streets. as we can. Our streets. Our streets. Our streets. Our streets. Our streets. Our streets. 
I'm gonna go up with the monopod and I'm gonna put the chat down, okay guys? You guys can stay here and chat. Actually, please do because that helps me um, when I pull it back down and check it. But I'm gonna just um, not be on it so much, okay? Sorry guys, there we go. All right, so we're just continuing down six, trying to keep it tight. I'm just trying to get you guys up there so you can see. I can't see, that's one of the things about being in a crowd like this. Again, if you're just joining us, you haven't marched in one of these marches before, especially if it's a long march and you're being funneled down streets. Uh, you have no idea how many people you're actually marching with and there is vulnerability and the vulnerability is that the police if there's a gap can come in get in between uh exploit the gap and break the groups up into separate groups
Hands up. Don't shoot. 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 Hands up. Ferguson has not been left in the dust. Ferguson, um, <laughs> I just saw somebody make a comment. Ferguson hasn't been left in the dust. Um, these movements have moments, and these moments become strung together and become the movement. This is NYC's moment. Um, we've had a lot of our moments in Ferguson. We're going to continue to have them. Uh, I'm not leaving Ferguson. I'm going to be back. I'll be back Monday, as a matter of fact. Didn't get in until very late last night. Uh, and then hopefully, um, as leaders of Ferguson, we're going to continue to provide support. Um, not co-optation, because we know how that is, um, but support and connect, help connect all these movements with the help of other people. Um, so, I just wanted to give that little piece of commentary there. So they're saying to turn it around. I'm not clear why. So where are we going now? Shut it down! Shut it down! Shut it down! So we're turning it around, but I'm not really sure why. Looks probably because we're getting ready. They might be trying to squish us in here. Oh my God! Okay. We can't, we can't, we can't. Ah. Trying to get the front people arrested. <laughs> so I'm pretty sure what we've got going on is they're, they're just standing up in the front. I am in a huge group. We're going to try and get up there.
many demonstrators that'll get in the street a lot of times right. so, so it's easier yeah oh here it's not happening <laughs> yeah yeah it's not it's too many. the streets the streets the streets so where do you think we're going i don't know we're going everywhere no they said union square union was the square. last call the last call was union square I walked into a bridge today. <laughs> I'm from Ferguson. Oh, okay. My name is Stack. Hi, sis. Nice to meet you. Thank you for coming out here. Yeah, I mean, it was great that we could get on a plane. Uh, we made a decision to come an hour before we, like, had to be at the airport. Oh, wow. Yeah, so we're staying until Monday. There's a couple leaders here, and then there's two live streamers. That's what we, I am. Are you guys doing like any round like political organizing, like getting people to the elections? And yeah, I mean, this is crazy. Yeah. Uh, you can march, but you know. <laughs> Definitely. I'm gonna. Delay from the front to the back. Yeah, definitely. I think Shut down. 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 One of the big differences that I can see from NYC to Ferguson is marchers just do what they gotta do, right? So, and there's seemingly to me less spectator heckling. Um, so that's interesting. But definitely marchers here, they just kind of ignore what's going on in the periphery. Um, on the sides, I'm not saying they're ignorant, they just really are about their business. And they're not ignorant of what's going on, they're just about their business, right? So, a little bit different of a vibe, but they have the numbers. Um, there's a lot of people out. Yes. 
soon. <laughs> like tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, tomorrow. Like, it's real force tomorrow. So I think tonight's march has been a little bit smaller, maybe a lot smaller, because I can't tell I was in here um, than the last two nights. I expect that for the weekend there will probably be a very large crowd. You know, just honk their horns when they drive by, or they, they they tell you they hate you and they wish you would die, right? Um, so you got some people out here cheering people on. You have people taking breaks from their food um, and paying attention. I, I'm not sure if it's in numbers or not, but this is my first experience here, so. a very good turnout for as much rain uh, it is cold it is right on the edge of freezing people are out people are soaked people are not complaining Oh, 
So it looks like we're marching to what they call last call at Union Square, I want to say. I didn't catch it all. There are tons of police up ahead. Tons. I am sopping wet. I think everybody else is too. What? So are they blocking us in here? That's just a pissed off that you got in the ring. See, it's not as fine. You know, it's harder when you're not, like, you have a car. Okay. The numbers have grown since last night? Yeah, until over the course of the night, yeah. Yeah, it's been good. It's definitely been good. Go Part of that again, just about the FDR drive. Oh no, we can do it um, that way. Um, I'm, I'm happy to, uh, no, you're fine. Happy to provide my analysis, but I don't know. No, you're fine. You can cool. do it that way. Cool. Um. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you know, like people. So here, you guys have something different. Like we just like, if people go like this, like I know not to. Yeah. We'll work on it. So, sorry, tell me what, uh, FDR so the FDR drive, well, I wasn't here for the week after Michael Brown, I was in Oakland, but I was following it. There, were, there was one really massive, amazing occupation of the FDR drive uh, on the Tuesday after the non-indictment when the, the numbers were just enormous. And I think there have been several other, there were other times when it was wrong. Yeah, this is definitely bigger. Wow. So we'll just get, we're gonna see where this goes, guys. I'm not really sure. Huh. Oh, I was just talking. I'm not really sure where we're going. Uh, but I'm sure we'll figure it out. We're marching south on Park Avenue. Okay, south on Park Avenue. Um, yeah. But that's it. We're in Park Avenue South at 22nd Street right now. Okay. And we're taking up both sides of the avenue. The crowd is dead. 
definitely grown in size. People are completely soaking wet and do not care. So they're saying close the gap. Hey, you're fine. Um, there's been really sharp tactical leadership on the ground all night long. I'm like this isn't just a random mob of people marching through the street. There are smart people helping guide where we're going and making choices about where each action is taking place and really maximizing the impact as well as maximi minimizing people's encounters with the police. Okay. So you heard it there. Um, very intentional march. They have a tactical team um, that helps them maneuver around the city intentionally um, to get the maximum number of people going through and the maximum impact on the community um, without police interaction. I don't know if they have if there's a formal tactical team or just people who are stepping up and performing the role. I'm not knowledgeable enough to yeah. know. Yeah, well, we don't have like, to say it's an official tag yeah, team. It's, it's just there's people providing tactical knowledge. Experienced people. Accumulated knowledge. Yeah. Here, you know. Don't shoot. So the person that's been helping me provide commentary says that she thinks now we're going to Union Square. So now we're going east on 19th from Park. We mean there were other people, but I was basically the only one that got video of it. Yeah, I was there. Yeah, you guys, the numbers have definitely, definitely grown since we've started marching tonight. The rain's definitely picked up. Uh, my feet are definitely much more sore, but we're moving along, and it's a—it's very cool to see the energy in the crowd tonight. Um, the crowd's actually getting so large that they're occupying both the sidewalk and the street.
so I think we're moving to, towards our final destination. The town car driver. Anyway, you guys, if you're just joining us, we've been marching um, since about 5, 5.30ish uh, East Coast time. New Yorkers have taken this march all over the city, um, mostly to the tourist destination, so I'm being told, which is awesome, because um, uh, I got to see them all. I think I'm going to be pretty busy while I'm here meeting with people and making connections to help us in Ferguson with some of the tech issues, um, how to report some of this stuff better. So if people here are saying, stay in the street, stay in the street, or they'll block you out, they'll block you out, stay in the street. Um, so started off the march, went to the Apple store on Fifth Avenue, took it from there to the Macy's. Um, we stayed on the sidewalk the entire time. And then coming out of the Macy's, we split into two groups. Did a Diane in the inside of Macy's. Coming out of the Macy's, we split into two groups and took to the streets. The groups met up. And now we're joining, um, went to a couple other places too, Times Square. Oh, Jesus. And now we're marching as a collective. Um, I believe on Union Square. I've seen police try and make some maneuvers several times to either get in front of or um, separate the crowd. Tonight they haven't been able to do it, I don't think. I haven't seen it yet. Hoping that we're coming Justice. upon our destination. I'm starting to get a little now. worn down, guys, I have to admit. Justice! Now! Justice! Justice. Now! Justice! Now! Justice! Now! Justice! Now!
So the first heckling that I heard tonight um, doesn't mean that more haven't happened, but that was the first one I kind of heard. Okay guys, so if you're just joining us, again, this is Short Stack from NYC. We are at third. And we're at Ever Street we just turned on. I'm sorry guys, we have been walking. Um, that's all right. We're gonna see this out. There are tons of people that have joined the crowd as we've been walking. So we had to run. There's lots of police here that tried exploiting that gap. Oh Lord guys, this is a good crowd and these people can walk, they are walking, they are walking quickly, they are turning tightly, and they're managing to maneuver a very very large crowd through the streets of New York City.
So I think the police tried to get in again there um, and were unsuccessful.
So it looks like there's an ambulance trying to get through the crowd. So I walked into a conversational accident where that man was saying, uh, you know, I'm happy to be here, but that chant isn't helpful. So I think there was somebody unhappy about the racial component. Um, we hear that a lot. We hear that a lot from allies, um, not being happy about the racial component or feel like they're being excluded. To say that a system is racist, or to say that Black Lives Matter, I'm here to tell you allies, I am here to tell you people that haven't thought about this before, white people, it does not diminish you one bit to say Black Lives Matter. Raising somebody else doesn't bring you down. What people are scared of is a proportional gap being closed. white people saying black lives matter saying a system is racist does not diminish your life it closes a proportional yeah a disproportional gap a disproportional gap is what it closes so I want you guys to think about that it's not diminishing you it's closing a disproportionate gap that shouldn't have existed existed in the first place and you're scared. So you have to talk to yourself about why you're scared. Raising somebody else up doesn't bring you down. They're in front of me. It's the horn true leader right here. This is probably the most entertaining person I've seen all night.
shut it down. Shut it down, shut it down. You gotta put a shut it down, down, shut it down. Shut it down, shut it down. Shut it down, shut it down. She went for the city, but she know you wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. Y'all wrong. So they're sending another ambulance through. They had, a, they had an ambulance with its lights off that was kind of strategically placed. Um, we have seen this tactically. I'm not saying that's what's going on, but a lot of times they will send ambulances through uh, because people will move for ambulances. So. Thank <laughs> you.